In October 2017, representatives of the Office of Hawaiian Affairs, Hui Ma Lama Ina Kupuna Ohava Ine, and our native Hawaiian community ventured to Dresden, Germany to retrieve Ivi Kupuna that had been held for over a century within anthropological collections. These Ivi Kupuna were collected during a time of colonial violence, a time when Western society was attempting to point themselves as being the highest point of evolution over all others. A quest ensued in the 18th and 19th centuries on the backs of imperialist agendas that resulted in the theft and collection of ancestral human remains of many indigenous peoples around the world. Our ancestors were horrendously dehumanized and objectified for study without the consent of their families and against prevailing Kingdom of Hawaii law at the time, protecting the sanctity of the grave. Notably, this was the first restitution conducted in the state of Saxony, which also served to signify a confession of humanitarianism and respect to the Hawaiian people. Our ancestors were rehumanized and we were made whole again by finally being able to fulfill our responsibility to return these Ivi Kupuna home. As this unfortunate chapter of colonialism was finally coming to a close, a new chapter of shared humanity was birthed and a commitment was made to repeat this event with the return of more Ivi Kupuna in the future. Today, we are seeing this promise made good with the return of many more Ivi Kupuna from various institutions throughout Germany. We acknowledge the following institutions that have now joined us in the new chapter of shared humanity. The Ubersee Museum in Bremen, the the Stiftung Preußischer Kulturbesitz in Berlin and the University of Göttingen. And in addition, the University in Jena. Further, we now add Vienna, Austria into this humanitarian family as we welcome the return of Ivi Kupuna from the Natural History Museum in Vienna as part of this February 2022 retrieval effort. This is the ultimate way to educate the world about each other and to reconnect these institutions to the living people of where these cultures come from. As was shared in 2017, it takes great courage and compassion to admit to one's atonement, to begin the healing of the spirit. There has been much change in the last decade among, amongst museum professionals and anthropological scholars that demonstrates a better understanding of indigenous peoples and the past injustices committed against us. We certainly acknowledge this and applaud the rehumanization re of these individuals and institutions. Today, these actions allow us to heal not only as individuals, but as a Lahui, as a Hawaiian nation. Further, we see the event of today and that of 2017 as recreating history going forward and telling a new story as fellow human beings together. As we acknowledge that other institutions throughout Germany and other places in Europe are on the cusp of joining in this shared humanity, we'll indeed return soon to keep adding to this story. Mahalo for walking this road with us. Chairman Carmen Hulu Lindsay, Office of Hawaiian Affairs. Thank you. Um, a question to you, Mr. Ayao, maybe. Um, how did you get knowledge of um, the an ancestors being here in Bremen in the Übersee Museum? Um, yeah, well, how did you know it and what was the process from then on? So part of the work that we do um, is to send email inquiries to institutions all around the world. When we first started, we sent 200 letters to institutions in other countries inquiring whether they held um, Ivi Kupuna, uh, Moipu funerary possessions or sacred objects. And, and then explained that it was uh, our interest that if you did, that we wanted to initiate a, a discussion on their return. Um, 32 years, our, the initial response from museums back, you know, 30 years ago was, uh, yes, we do, but no, we will not engage in that discussion. That attitude has completely changed. With regard to uh, the Ubersee Museum, I, I sent an inquiry, an email inquiry, and I got a response that said, and I was doing it on behalf as a volunteer for the Office of Hawaiian Affairs. And the response was that, yes, we did. We do have Hawaiian remains, or remains that appear to be provenance from Hawaii, and that we wish to engage in, in that discussion. And so I reached out. We, I belong to a network of indigenous peoples called uh, uh, Return, Reconcile, Renew, which is out of Canberra, Australia, and led by Dr. Cressida Ford. 
So I reached out to the network, and Dr. Amber Adenui from, um, from Aotearoa, New Zealand, responded that they had just completed a repatriation from the Overseas Museum and told me that uh, I would be in good hands with, with Dr. Arndt and that we were to proceed um, and that we would be treated fairly. That's why I acknowledge them in my speech because they laid the foundation for what we did today. What is going to happen with uh, Ivi Kupana when they return home? So uh, I get asked that question probably more so than, and, than any, and it's always awkward to respond because um, the answer is self-evident. We will restore them to the condition their families placed them originally when they were buried. And then that journey was interfered with through theft, through, through scientific collection. And so when upon return, um, once we are clear on where they're from, then we will network with the families from that area to uh, re rebury them and return them to the journey back to Po, back to the, that place where, that place of darkness where our ancestors go so that they can be returned to their ancestral families. Um, so short answer, uh, we will rebury them as soon as we can. Somebody told us before that there was scientific reasons to, um, of, of the time to um, get these bones and um, research, do research on them. I wanted to ask like what kind of scientific research um, even in the time could be done and could be, uh, yeah, could make sense seeing that we don't even know where these, uh, where these bones come from. So they didn't, uh, they were not very accurate in um, telling us where they are from, they just collected them, is it? Yeah, that's... Um, Do I say something? Yes, me? yeah, okay. I would say that that's not, not accurate. Because back then when they collected, they were very uh, accurate about uh, provenance because that was everything. But what's happening now is over time, that information may have either been lost or we just haven't accessed it yet. Because, so provenance information is, is critical. And um, it wasn't as if, because it would make, it would have no value to science if they didn't know where they got it from. So I just want to clarify that point. Just because we don't know now doesn't mean when they were collecting, they were Kapulu or they weren't uh, good about, they were very uh, good about where they took it from. Otherwise it would have no value. And, and, and just having said that, the real question isn't whether you can do science or what it was doing, it's whether they had consent. So if they went to someone and said, can I take your grandma's head? I need to do these studies. And if that family said yes, then we wouldn't be here. But no Hawaiian family ever said yes. You know why? Because they were never asked. So that's the real issue. It isn't what science could have done back then. It's whether or not they had consent. And where they do, then they are free to keep them because the family speaks for the EV, not science. Um, my question is, in what other German museums are still in Japan, and what are you doing to get them back? What, what are you planning next to do? And how are the talks, especially going to Jena and Thüringen? Thank you very much. Oh. Um, with respect to the other uh, German institutions and the one in, in Vienna. Jena. Jena. Uh, no, but uh, I'm just saying Vienna being the, next, the last place where we'll go. All of them um, have engaged in meaningful consultation with us to uh, ensure that the handover um, process is uh, highly respectful, is um, you know, intended to um, facilitate the process of healing. Uh, the University in Yen especially um, um, took, I would say, really um, 
well thought out steps to make sh to ensure that respect that high level of respect and so what happened here today um, will be uh, repeated um, in got, got the, Göttingen there <laughs> and then Jena and then Berlin and then Vienna so the, the response has been um, very humanitarian <laughs>